Hi guys, it's Tracy and I am back with another video and this time we have the September, yeah I can't believe it's September, the September Ipsy slash BoxyCharm. They're the same company now but they're still calling this BoxyCharm. This is like kind of the mid-range. It's like um, $35 I want to say. We have our little mascot here, Lily. She's just laying down being chill for right now. My son was just here for a visit and she like, she loves him. So she was like waiting for him at the edge of the bed, waiting, waiting, waiting. He was getting ready to leave and she's like at the gate, at the door, like wanting to get to him. <laughs> and he told her, bye Lily. And then she's like crying and making all this noise. So I knew today had to be a day with Lily. So yeah. She needs an emotion, emotional support, you know, emotional support human, and that's me. That's where I come in. So this is the pamphlet thingy. I, I, I like the cards that they use today because they don't list the prices of everything. Looks like they have some stuff, but not other stuff listed. So. We'll try to see how much we find out on the paper. And then when I go in to edit, I will try to figure out how much the box is worth if I can find this stuff. So the first thing on the list is this Laura Geller. And this is, I even remembered my glasses. This is the Laura's Essential Soft Satins, six matte eyeshadows, and two highlighters. And that's what it looks like. Still has the plastic over the top because that shade right there is crumbled. <laughs> so I did not want to take the top off of it. So now I don't want it all over my carpet. So I told them that it was busted so that they could send me a new one because I don't even want to move the plastic off of the thing. I will say that I'm, I found that the Ipsy customer service is a lot better than the BoxyCharm customer service used to be because you could write to BoxyCharm and be waiting like forever. So they do seem to have their stuff together more with that um you know with ipsy so when i went into like their automated thing and they ask you what's wrong and then i told them and then they're like okay like here's the products you got what which product did you have a problem with and you do it all like virtually with this robot thing and then they just say okay we'll we'll be forwarding it to like a team member and I think it was on maybe Sunday that I wrote to them or Saturday night. And like Sunday morning, I had a real person actually send me an email. And I was like, wow, I, I was shocked. So their customer service for that was really good. That's the only experience that I've had, you know, with them as far as a damaged product. So I think, is this one on here? Power picks. Okay, that is twenty dollars see it has like all these other products listed out here and i'm like well where are those products because i would have liked to get the glue the new glow recipe thing but i don't have any of these in my box except for two i think maybe maybe two um I think this one was a choice item. Nice packaging. And this is the J Lo Beauty That Blockbuster Hydrating Cream. So nice. I don't know how much that I think I saw somewhere that was like about 60 bucks. So that's a lot of money. And then next up here we have this is by Coco Kind. I haven't ever used anything by them. This is their Resur Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. So nice. It feels like it's in a 
like a glass jar. It's got some weight to it. Oh yeah, it's a nice, really nice, heavy, you know, heavy little jar. So now I have two face creams though in one month. And then next up, Reverestal Retin C. Retin C, I've never heard of that. Treatment Complex by Kat Berkey. This says it's $90. Retinol and vitamin C help plump and even your skin. So now we have three face creams in one box. And this is Conserving Beauty Conserve You Face Oil. So now we have four items that are basically skincare. Um, this is not on the list here. So I'll have to look it up and I'll figure out how much it is. I've never heard of this brand. That's a lot of skin skin care to get in one box. And especially the oils. I don't go through oil really quick. Oh, cute little bottle. I use an oil at night before I put my moisturizer on. So I always I have I have like four bottles like that I have in rotation that I've been trying to use up. Okay, next up we have the Danessa Myricks Infinite chrome micro pencil I, th I think this was a choice item but i'm not exactly sure so let's see if you can get this and my sleek beautiful hair finally had to be washed <laughs> so um i watched this channel on YouTube, it's called Are You Serious? And when I was in there chatting one day, she was doing a live stream and she's like, hey, Tracy Lee Beauty, I've been to subscribe to you forever. And I'm like, really? Oh my gosh, that's so funny because I, I never like knew. And then I heard her the other day, she was on a live and I had started at the beginning and then I had, uh, I had put a comment in like, hey, I'm at, just starting at the beginning, just wanted to say hey. And then it was funny because she goes, oh my God, she has the most fabulous hair. Your hair is looking so good, girl. And I'm like, oh, but I had to wash it. So now you see, it doesn't look that great. But it's the end of the day too. And it's been really hot and humid. So, you know, when you got like wavy, I, my hair is more curly underneath here, so sometimes I'll do like a half up, half down thing, but I had it down today. I just went to a doctor's appointment, but it takes a lot of hair product to keep it, you know, like sleek and even when it's curly like this. And I was going to um, style it and do it myself. But then I'm like, mm, that the only thing about like when it's sleek and slick, and I have this um, shower cap. If you need a good shower cap where you don't want any of your hair getting wet, I have the best one. I got it on Amazon. It's twenty dollars, and I know, I know. I was like twenty dollars. I can get it. like all my other shower caps are like you know, super cheap. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna see if it works. Doesn't work. I'm sending it back. And it has this, like, it has these two little silicone strips on the inside that go all the way around. And you put that sucker on your head, and there is no water that's going to get in there. And it has room, like, because I usually will put my hair up in a bun, you know, and, like, pin it up. And it has room for the thing and everything, and best 20 bucks that I spent because it keeps your hair dry. So I don't know how to do links. I, I have that the thing called that I could do called magic links, but like I, I don't know how to do all that. But if I can find it, or let me see, I don't have even have an Amazon store. So if I find it, or I can tell you what it's called, so you can look for it, 
on Amazon and they might even have it at Ulta. I'm not exactly sure, but if you need a really good like shower cap, this is a great one. So, wow, this is like a super skinny pencil. Oh, there we go. Can you even see that? It's like a, ooh, it's really pretty. You need the light to hit it just right go. And I don't know that the camera can do that. It looks really pretty. I think these were like $20 because I seem to remember when they brought them out at Sephora and I was like, oh, those sound really cool, but I'm spending $20 for an eyeliner that once I put it on, it like disappears within a few minutes. So those are the six items from the BoxyCharm box. Four skincare items and two makeup items. So yeah, I, I'm, I, like I said, I don't have to buy skincare. I have so much skincare that I have not bought, bought any in literally, I don't even know when the last time that I bought something. I, Cause I'm always just like, oh my God, I, like I have all this stuff. I keep it in my walk-in closet. It's not like I was gonna say a walk-in refrigerator. Um, I keep it in the walk-in closet, like in some drawers that are in there so that I can, you know, hopefully keep it to where it's gonna be good and last me. So on my eyes today, I have the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes palette. I was gonna use um, my Natasha Denona Retro palette. That's the color story. Oh, Ultra Ego, that's the one. They make really good do. C color does too, but I feel like Ultra Ego is just like a step up from, you know, C color. So um, check them out. They, and they just came out with a dupe for the Natasha Denona Retro Glam palette too. So if you want some dupes, check out Alter Ego. They have really good dupes. And then on my lips, I have this, I don't even, what is this called? It's called the Maybelline Vinyl, Superstay Vinyl Ink. And this is shade 410. And I can't even read the small writing to tell me what that color says. I can put it in the description box, but, um, I just, I was at my discount store today actually, and they had like a display of them right up at the front counter and they were $3.99. And that like, I think there was only one or two of this color. And I was like, that color looks kind of pretty. Let me check it out. So then I, of course I ended up buying it. I don't usually buy because like liquid lipsticks, cause they rub, they, they don't last on my lips. And I wasn't sure this doesn't really dry down. It's more like a, and you can see like it kind of your lips kind of stick together. Let me see. It's pretty transfer proof though. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. If it's a like a I mean if it's, it doesn't transfer like a liquid lipstick would not transfer, but it's not as dry as like a traditional liquid lip. It's still kind of gives you some moisture. And usually, like I said, I steer away from any kind of liquid lipsticks. I usually just use like a bullet lipstick or lip oil because my mouth is so dry. So anyhow, that is what's going on with the BoxyCharm this month. And my Miss Lily over here, she's being such a good girl. Huh, that's my baby. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel, especially since I've been lost from the algorithm for two months. So if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. And I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.